Hey everyone, welcome back. So one thing that we often forget about is something like our assets, like icons. Now icons are very important. We created our own icons in this course uh, and we've also found different types of resources that give us a bunch of icons. And these icons are definitely based off of our feather icon resource, which you can find right here. So these icons are based off of that. And I've taken all the icons I need for this application and I've broken them into two things, two different sizes, 24 pixel icons and 16 pixel icons. Now you may not need to, depending on how you set your icons up, you could just resize them if you really need to. But what I've done here is I've split them up just to make it easier for you. Now I've also included a several filled versions. So, I mean, if there's a heart, let's turn off our grid because each of these is on a grid. So if we take off our grid over here, we'll notice that we have like a heart that is filled or like a zap icon or just like a star. And this helps us uh, really like if we're creating interactions with icons and we need to fill them, this really helps. So. You don't necessarily need like massive icon set with like 400 different icons. I personally use the icons that I'm going to use within the application. I may have a couple extras just in case, and that's totally fine. And you can continue just adding to this. This is my icon system right now, and I'll show you how I went in and built it. So I have different sections. This is how I've named them. I have outline 24 pixel, and just that is where the artwork is within. And then I've actually here, I will show you what I've done. So if I take this, let's just uh, disconnect that. This is my icon and I've just taken it and created it as a component. I've done option command K. I've named it whatever I want to name it. So I've been using this naming convention for my icons just to split them up between 24 pixels and 16 pixels. And now whenever I want to use it, if I go into my assets section, you'll see that I have it split up over here. Let's change that for one second. Okay, so this is my outline 24 pixel arrow. You'll see that, you see it's selected. Now let's just uh, delete that and it won't show up there in my assets section. But I have my iconography split up by 16 pixels, and then I have filled and outlined 16 pixels, and the same for the 24 pixels. And if I wanted to say get 24 pixel outlined icon, I can see all my assets right here. And this is why I split it up just like this. It's perfect. You can just grab, I want a home icon and just drag it into whatever file you're using. And if I wanted to change that icon, and I will show you how I've used this within other components. I can just go into my instance section over here and it'll automatically give me related components if I'm in 24 pixels, but say if I wanted to use like 16 pixels, I can do that too. I can change it like that. And just like that, we have icons that we can easily use within other components, not even with other components, but just within a file if we need to grab something quick. It keeps everything in one place and neatly sorted. So these are the icons I've decided to go with. As you can tell, they're more rounded, more playful, kind of like how our logo is for Habitual and just how the overall app kind of tone is. And I've done uh, the exact same for the smaller versions. As you can tell that they are a little bit more chunkier but when you start shrinking your icons, you need them to be a little bit more thicker so people can really understand them and understand what they are. We don't have them as thin as we do as at 24 pixels. So just another thing to think about. But that is how I've decided to incorporate iconography into my design system. 